It's a moment we've all looked forward to. A trophy on the line. Dr. Benji FM versus Danny Graham. Come on. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to Glory Hunter with me, Dr. Benji FM. I hope I find you in tip-top condition. And here we are then, FA Cup final around the corner. But before we get there, loads of awards have just come through, and I thought this was the perfect time to start to start today's episode. Uh, Diego's done rather well, viewers. So, Footballer of the Year, it's the main man. It is Diego. Do we... I, I can't do that. I can't. Diego... <laughs> We'll see if he does more viewers. Uh, can we congratulate him on the award? We could be doing this an awful lot. English Footballer of the Year there. Fantastic for him. Uh, Diego also named Players Player of the Year uh, as well. So again, Diego, he's lo loving it still. Top Goal Score Award. You'll never guess. It. That's what Diego, he's loving it, viewers. Uh, and then finally, Players Young Player of the Award. Diego has, it's the clean sweep, viewers. The fact he's not got golden gloves, a disgrace. Diego, Diego, Diego. We're loving it, viewers. He's done fantastically well. Uh, Alisson gets Golden Glove ahead of Alpa Aydin. Outrageous, really. I mean, it's a fix. But I hear some good news. There's me. Look, Ben Carr. That's right. Manager of the year. Lovely stuff. I mean, I couldn't be happier. Could not be happier, viewers. And uh, Chairman Dennis Walsh. Of course, Dennis Walsh came in as chairman of Arsenal. Took over from the previous owners. And uh, one of his first things he did, in fact, was bring me to the club. So me and Dennis, we've formed quite the partnership, me and DW. And uh, yeah, there you are then. You can see there, team of the year... We've done pretty well. We've done pretty well. Vignato is snuck in there somehow. That's pretty outrageous, if I'm being completely honest. Has he had as good a season as he should be in here? Six goals, eight assists, seven points. Maybe, maybe so. Four four two traditional. Uh, Tierney, Sadru, Saliba, Bellerin, uh, Vignato, Tielemans, Torreira, Unavar, and, uh, of course, Diego is up front. He's just he's covered all bases, viewers. He's got contract bonuses activated. He's got over a million for that. He's got over a million for that. That's pretty outrageous, all in all, viewers. That's pretty... Pretty outrageous. All right, then. It is FA Cup week as the scout report comes in. Uh, we're looking at their team. There's not, I've got to be honest, there's not too many names there. Rams in goal, I'm familiar with. And um, Biram Diaz, I think, has got, is he a Manchester City player at the start of the game? Yeah, he is. Uh, went to Real Madrid on this, came back to Watford, and has probably been one of their, their shining stars. Um, not in terms of average rating, but in terms of what his output is. So we'll see how we do. Danny Graham, of course, managing. Myself versus Danny. Carr versus, oh, I've just noticed there, by the way, Simeone's just been sacked by Manchester City. Massive news. As uh, we'll focus a little bit on that after the game, I'm sure. But what, what a moment to be fighting for a trophy with Danny Graham, former player, former assistant. What a man! This what a, what a joy! What an absolute joy! And you know what? If we if I do if I end up being defeated today, we don't need it necessarily. We, we sit off the FA a couple a couple of years ago. I'd be so pleased for him, so pleased for him. And if I'm to leave Arsenal, I hope he gets it. I'm sure Manchester City now are sniffing around him, but just. Tremendous on every single level. The big news really for us though is that the fact Manchester City have just sacked Simeone means that Manchester City will hopefully take a manager from the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid, uh, maybe we have to go back to Germany, maybe Italy again or PSG and at that point we manoeuvre our way in there. That would be perfect really. I don't think Barcelona are going to sack Klopp so early on but um, yeah we, we were hoping there's a managerial merry-go-round. There might even be a situation where I need to resign from Arsenal to hope it teases in a manager from somewhere else. Of course they may well look at Simeone now I think he's the right man to continue this, the project but hmm interesting City sacking uh, sacking Simeone sorry big big news I mean we'll attend this press conference because I feel like we kind of have to some of these questions I'm not interested in I'm really here for Danny Graham related questions if I'm completely honest can you reveal how you'll be stretching your Arsenal boys to play yeah Jan I'll just tell you everything Jan Pronk that's fictional surely he's put, well in a follow up question Michael Voss has come in but the fact that managers can often crack under the pressure you seem to handle it pretty well can the same be said of Danny Graham Absolutely. I think so, yes. We're both professionals. We're used to dealing with pressure like this. Danny's a very good manager. And I'm sure his side will be well prepared. That's all I can say, really. Uh, West Ham, I, I, just not bothered. Not even involved today. So I don't know why I'm getting questions about them. And I'm not willing... To, I, don't, I don't want four nails. Oh, hello. Uh, the FA Cup decider against Watford will no doubt prove a fascinating managerial duel between you and your opposite number. What is your relationship with Danny Graham? Where do we start with this, viewers? I could write a book on this, viewers. I could write a book. We have a strong understanding and a great mutual respect for one another. No. Danny's one of the nicest people in football. We get along really well. Best mates. Best mates. All right, then. Not too far away now. It's just around the corner. Exciting stuff. Now, the good news is I'm pretty sure we're going to be almost... 
almost at full strength as well. All right then, gang. I'm going. I've got like, Danny would want me to. I have to do it. We're going as full strength as we can possibly go. Uh, Alpa will be in goal then. Bellerin, Sadru, Saliba, and Tierney at the back. Tielemans and Torreira. That partnership absolutely sensational. Team of the year partnership, isn't it? Nicolas Pepe is going to get the nod ahead of Vignato. Nicolas Pepe, a man for the big occasion. Unavar will be on the left hand side with Uar playing behind the main man. We all know him. Number ten, Diego. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I made, I made, I got, I got, I got carried away, viewers. There, I got carried away. Danny Dolby needs a number. Of course he does. Number twenty-two. Two little ducks. Danny Dolby. Come on then, FA Cup final. That's the uh, the side that they're putting out. As I say, not too many familiar faces. Will I'm aware of the rest. I've got, I've got. I'm just going to be honest with you, viewers. Not too many familiar names. There'll be people who obviously know about four of those players and will think I'm stupid. So. <sighs> Thanks for the comment. This could be the last time we see Hector Bellerin, Lucas Torreira and Nicolas Pepe in an Arsenal shirt. Well, they deserve they deserve a big game. So, I mean, I'm not saying they're definitely leaving. I'm just... Yeah, awkward. All right, then. Here we go. It's what for Arsenal. And because of a, a game of this nature, viewers, can only be shown in three dimensions. It's a, bit, it's a big moment for us. Here we go, then. The yellow of Watford versus the red and white of Arsenal. As early on, you can see Diego ready for action. Uh, we'll just hide the match stats so we get a good overall view of this game. I'm excited. As it goes out to that side, as uh, Pepe picks it up, you can see there me and Danny Graham on either dugout. Oh, what a moment. What a moment, viewers. Pepe, I've, we've played before, but never at Wembley Stadium. Never with an occasion like this and a trophy like this on the line steeped in history not just the relationship with me and Danny Graham but the FA Cup as well viewers the FA Cup as well as uh, early stages here Nicolas Pepe forces a very good save out of Ramsdale 10 minutes in or 11 minutes in we force a corner kick to be taken on that side as well by surely Yuri Tiedemans no not this time who is going to pop one in not usually a corner taker for us and uh, well the results of the corner very much the same as they always are as the highlight will continue but this could well this could go on for some time viewers they could be quarters for the rest of the game if we score, it will just be very unexpected. So I just won't react even if we do. So, oh, it's been cleared. I'm, I'm, st I'm stunned. Yeah. Oh, it's gone over. Yeah. Two early bookings as well. I've noticed there. In five minutes. They are two bookings. Not good at all. As Danny Graham comes over for a chat, I'm saying, Danny, sorry, mate. I've important business right now, Danny. Sorry, he's had a sit down. As Danny, he's, he's, oh, he's obviously not happy with what he's seen so far. He's trying to think about what to do next. As uh, it's actually Watford with the ball as they're racing forward. Maybe it'll put, get Danny off his seat as they come out to this right hand side David knocks down to Tommy Yasu I'm sure I'm sure that's how you say it as uh, he's keeping it nicely over to Knight now Diaz again pulling the strings and they've got a man over on this side ball put into the back post and oh what is this Tobias Svensson with the goal and Watford leads the fans behind the goal go wild uh this is obviously not supposed to be happening um I Skip positive. Let's go positive. Maybe that's uh, there's a there's a corner kick to Watford now, who may be looking to double the advantage. But I mean, Alpas dived there. The the shot was blocked though. Fortunately for us, it's now Yuri Tiedemans picks up the loose ball and finds Diego, who's in a one on one situation. If he can run down the goalkeeper, he goes for it from there. Ramsdale forces a save from one end to the other. That was what we we're all about there, gang. Brave of them to put one just just one defender on Diego as well. Very very bold as the corner kicks played in cleared away what for deal with it i'm gonna shout at the mid 20 minutes gone you know demand a bit more come on nicolas pepe keeping it no not keeping it getting tackled easily telewins free kick whipped in back post we're there we're not pepe it's headed over just change the camera angle slightly i wonder if that'll make any difference it's hector bellerin bruce sheen i mean we've got feeler on the bench if needs be but it's not ideal is it and danny graham so far he's not doing me chance though here we go saliba to Torreira. And can we work something from the back forward? It's the perfect time to score. Danny Graham will have to rip up his half-time team talk as it goes all the way back to Torreira. Back to Saliba. Nice to see them, isn't it, in three dimensions in this fashion. As Uar now chips a ball forward. It's so poor. I tell you what, Tiedemann's made the run. And Uar's ball, the communication just wasn't there. They've had a couple of, well, a week or so off from playing professionally. <laughs> just, just training, mainly viewers. As um, Watford now, a second for them. And my plans for half-time go completely out the window. A big change needed as Alpha, well, makes a massive save. I've called him alpha there he's an alpha male but it's alpha it's his actual name bed corner for them just get get rid get rid oh goodness me they're going closer at half time it's time to put a rocket somewhere viewers aggressively say come on lads be a desire i'll send them out they've got they've got, got us into this mess get us out boys so far shambolic i'm gonna make a subtle change univar shadow striker right up there in behind diego let's see if that makes a difference as tierney now finds who are with a throw in and wins a corner so well here we are then maybe this is the moment to turn things around unlikely it's a 
It's a corner. All right, nothing came from the corner. Shock horror. But there is a throw in on that side now as Tierney, as uh, well, the ball he's trying to play in didn't quite work out. But Torreira and Tiedemans will recycle this. And it goes back out to Kieran Tierney on that left hand side as he goes towards the byline, pulls it back really for R. He's got a bit of space. He can't give him that as Diego reacts. And Diego shoots over. He should have probably done better there. Diego and Unifar have both done so far little and nothing viewers maybe this is the moment to turn it around a little bit as Diego has got some space on that far side he needs the support of his teammates though will Diego do it alone Diego running through like a former man of his name oh never mind it's gone wide well it's saved but still decent chance 54 gone I'm already thinking, is it Vinicius Jr. time or Vignato time? Is it time to bring on some key men that can maybe change this game around? Because so far, we've not seen too much out of Pepe or of Unavar. I'm going to be I'm gonna be bold for you as we're doing it straight away. And I'm doing this with the knowledge as well that Hector Bellerin's got a bit of a, a, bit of a knock. And Vasily, if I make this move, we might not see him, which is which is big and bold for you. But Bellerin seems to be doing okay despite the injury. Condition-wise, he's he's looking all right. I'm thinking a late change, though. Might be Uar. <laughs> Uar. Arr. Uh, off. And Vasily on. And with 20 minutes to go, viewers, pff, we're doing it right now. Got to be bold, Ben. This is what you do. Danny Graham's never seen the like of this unless he scouted me. Watford with a throw in deep in our own half here. We've got to win this ball back. And we do. Vignato, finally, the £75 million man from Borussia Dortmund. He's known successes. Not necessarily at Dortmund with me. As Ignatovic goes forward. Diego's there. Oh, and he's hit the post. Diego again. Keep it alive, please. Oh, the defenders get back and hurry him off the ball and clear it away. 15 minutes to go. We're already positive viewers. We're going to have to go attacking. Get creative, someone. Do something up there. Back to Saliba. 12 minutes to go now and this FA Cup final feels like it's slipping away from me uh, the teams will be looking at this thinking am I capable of winning them domestic competitions and so far viewers the answer would be yes but only in every three years maybe as uh, well I mean lovely bit of footwork from McCalmont in the centre he's racing forward surely we've got to we've got to get closer to that he's just getting he's just doing pop shots viewers pop shots we've made all three changes we've got an attack in I can shout no more, viewers. I'm hoarse on the sidelines. Danny's offering me a bottle of water. No, thank you, Danny. Surely there's going to be a moment here where we're going to start turning this round. Watford have had a poor Premier League season by all accounts, but not today. They're on fire, viewers. And they've got space to play in. Again, working the ball. We can't get near them. Our boys just don't look up for it. They can't see this left-hand side. He's got three years to cross it in. He keeps it in. Well, is the cross going to come in? It is. Headed away just about. We're not there, though. And McCalmont now goes all the way back. We've got to try and get the ball back and create something of our own, viewers. As back to this left-hand side, it goes. Ball played in. And they've scored a second, viewers. What's happened? He punches the air in delight. Kane, Ritchie, Hosler... What's gone on? I mean, it's well worked. They've made us look like fools, viewers. Absolute fools. Out to this left-hand side, in behind Hector Bellerin. What a finish. I mean, D Diego would be proud of that. What do you even do at this point, gang? We're still attacking. Five minutes to go. Watford, though. If anyone's going to score again, it's going to be them, viewers. It's been shambolic from ours. Politano gives it away. Thank you, mate. He's been brought on. Maybe the action plan is starting now as Diego, when well, he's found a way through. Not my words. Defensive calamity. Diego scores! And a chance, maybe, viewers. A chance. 86 minutes gone. And Diego is stoked the Arsenal fans no time for four but we've got time for one Diego come on you can see there defensively they fall asleep they think the keeper's coming he doesn't Ramsdale retreats and Diogo Diego Diogo Diego bounces Watford two Arsenal one. Oh my word I'm on edge here viewers not long enough to go at all we're gonna, we're gonna what, what more can you do fall back slightly further forward push them on a little bit come on is there is there five minutes of added time is there time for a dramatic late moment I'm gonna be slightly less attacking see if it makes any kind of difference but no there they are, look. And there's Danny Graham in his black and white tracksuit. Watford have done it. And I don't really know how to feel watching the team in yellow and black celebrate. I don't know what that... This is very unnatural. Unless, of course, you're watching the stream at twitch.tv slash Dr. Benji. Great armor to wear yellow and black, so... But not ideal. Watford 2, Arsenal 1. And um, we didn't need it. Imagine if we did. Good God. I mean, we've got away with that a little bit. As uh, Danny Graham's glory hunter, he's kicked off. That's trophy number one for Danny. Not bad, Danny. I say that. He's actually got the Champions League, hasn't he, already? So, <laughs> Danny Graham's and the Italian Cup. He's, he's he's not far behind me. Unlucky boys wasn't to be. In fact, Danny Graham could do this before. No, come on. If he gets the City job. Right, stop this now, Ben. What can you say? Defeat in the Cup Final. At least we were there. I mean, that's good. As Diego is scouted by Real Madrid. Well, if they get a new manager, maybe, maybe so. But, um... Ah... Oh. 
What a shame. Danny Graham's mind games have begun and the press would love nothing more than start a war of words to develop between the, the two of you. Absolutely not. That would never happen. I'll just be doing this press conference. Danny Graham will certainly be thinking he got the better of you in the match and the build-up to it. Do you think it's fair to say you cracked under the pressure a bit? What the f*** is this? Not at all. Danny Graham will think the result has vindicated his mind games in the build-up, but I think he handled himself pretty unprofessionally in the past few days. Fine! Can I, can I say that back? I, the, the players will be hungry for success probably after this. I mean, I'm proud of the players. I'm proud of them. I just, I'm a little bit worried about what Danny might think about what's just gone on there. Oh my God. Danny Graham tags Carr, a hypocrite. That's rich coming from him. He tried to get involved in all this mind game nonsense and suddenly has decided to take offence to it. Now he's lashing out at me. It says it, <laughs> it says it all about him, frankly. Good God, Danny Graham. Hold to no real opinion of you. Good relationship. I'll tell you what. Absolute carnage at this point, viewers. I don't know how to feel. I don't honestly don't know how to feel. I was I was happy for him, and then I snapped, and he snapped back with, "Oh, I tell you what, tell you what, viewers, outrageous." And that's going to wrap things up, then. I think. I mean, what a season it was with the Arsenal boys. Th Thirty-five goals from Diego is frankly outrageous. You can see there the, the goal scorers were silly with fifteen. And what a fantastic signing he's turned out to be. Unavar, Tielemans, Pepe. I mean, you look at Tielemans there. Incredible season from him. Twelve goals and twelve assists in the league. Exceptional stuff. He deserved a double. Really, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, average rating wise, let's see who were the top performers in this. Then Gelsino, <laughs> when he plays, he's he's fantastic. Viewers, what what a player for the future. It's Yuri Tielemans, though, isn't it? Of course, it is up there again. Absolutely fantastic. And these boys will go on to great things, I'm sure. And lots of them, hopefully, will join me elsewhere. And where that place will be, viewers, well, I don't know. There will probably be a video in between all of this where we discuss what the plans are next. Uh, not every league team has have completed their season yet. Like around the, around the world, games are still going on. <laughs> Inter seems to be bottling it big time in Italy. Maybe Pochettino will be for the chop and I return in dramatic fashion. In La Liga, Real Madrid and Barcelona battling it out for the league as well. Their Atletico Madrid still not that far behind, viewers. Uh, in Germany, shall we take a look what happened over there? I think we probably know, though, viewers. Of course, Dortmund are title holders once again. I'm actually sick of it. Uh, 76 points for them. Another league title. It's just getting ridiculous now. And uh, over in, where have we not looked at so far? Uh, in France, of course, we know what's going on there. Uh, as it always happens, so viewers, uh, Paris Saint-Germain win the league by eight clear points then. So, another year in the books and uh, the Gloria Hunter challenge continues. Sadly, not doing the FA Cup twice, but we've got it that one time. And that's what matters. Congratulations to Danny Green. You know, I'm, I am pleased for him, sort of, in a way, kind of, in a little bit. Um, but that is going to bring us to the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please do drop a like on it. And if you want to see some more, and I really hope you do, where will we go next? Arsenal, I thank you. But it's time to say goodbye. We'll love with care. From me, that's when you'll say it's time. See you soon. See you later. I can't believe I've lost to Danny Buddy Graham.